Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. I am available for personals. That information is in the description. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's get to it. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, thank you so much for all that you do for me. Thank you for loving, guiding, and protecting me. Please allow me to connect to the collective side of Virgo and give guidance and advice to those who need it. Also, please surround me with a protective white light of the highest frequency and only allow positive energy into my space. Amen. 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 A Virgo royalty gang. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Because I am. Let's get down to business, shall we? Okay. So this will be a no contact love reading. And we're going to get some messages from your person. So the first card we have is, I will take action soon. Please believe me. No one makes me feel the way you do. You are the best I've ever had. Ooh, there we go. Get one more. I'm putting myself first right now. So this person's been through a, through a lot, Virgo, and so they're putting themselves first right now, but it's like, I'm hearing you have my heart. So this person loves you very much. And on the bottom, we have, please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. I just saw the wedding card. Okay. What is the energy as of now between Virgo and their person? What is the energy as of now between Virgo and their person? Okay. So we have third party. Interference, cheating, competition, mistress. So... This person may have had you in a third party situation, Virgo, or you may have had somebody in a third party situation. Um, there is a person here that's trying to make somebody compete with the other for somebody's affection. That is very toxic. Okay, we have relationship. How do you feel towards this person? You wanted a commitment with this person. You wanted this person to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You thought this person was gonna be a lifelong partner. Um, but they continue to play games. How does this person feel towards Virgo? Travel. Distance, boundaries, far apart, get away. Okay, so there, there may be some distance between you two. Um, you may have your boundaries up, you know? You may have established healthy boundaries with this person. Some of you could be taking trips cross country. Unexpected and the obstacles and blocks. Surprise, unpredictable, shocking, unusual. So I'm getting, you may have blocked this person, Virgo, but somebody plans on surprising you, okay? Somebody plans on doing something out of the blue. Karen, you guys shared some really nice times together. Best approach. What is the best approach to the situation? We have healing. We have healing here, wounds and Proving, mending, and progress. And then the outcome, we have soulmates. But the advice to the situation, Virgo, you know what the advice is. Self-love, self-healing, improving yourself, becoming a better person, transforming, evolving, um, 
nurturing and healing your inner child. And in the outcome, we have soulmate, twin flame, soulmate contract, soul contract, soul connection, and past life. And on the bottom, we have storm warning, upheaval, obstacles, wrecking ball, drama. So there may have been a lot of drama in this situation, okay? Let's clarify this stuff, shall we? card here. Spirit, please clarify this. Okay, we have the Tower Reverse. Energy as of now. So, Virgo, I'm getting you walked away from this, and this was a hot mess, okay? You were very disappointed in this. Um, this person, they do. They think about you often. They daydream about you. You may be nostalgic about this person. The King of Pentacles. So you could have been dealing with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but this is telling me that um, right now you're trying to get grounded, okay? Um, stabilize yourself, your emotional health, your mental health. This may have been a very traumatic event for you, so you had to walk away. With the Two of Cups reverse, even though that's the Twin Flame Soulmate card, it's in reverse because somebody hurt you on some level, but you took off the rose-colored glasses when it came to this connection. Um, you could have been dealing with the Cancer. But you're no longer falling for like the manipulation, the gaslighting, the delusions. I'm hearing that you're taking your power back. Very grounded in your own energy. Yeah, we have the magician. How you feel towards this person, Virgo? Are you? <laughs> this is Virgo Gemini energy. Um, are you manifesting somebody? No, you wouldn't do that. Okay, but you are to, with the King of Pentacles here and the Magician here. This is telling me that you are taking your power back like you are a magical motherfucker. And you feel like you could have anybody you want. This person also may have like a big ego. Um, they feel like, oh, well, I, I can have anybody I want. I don't need to chase anybody. We have the Ten of Wands reverse. There is something this person is trying to release. We have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. So this is telling me that an offer is coming in. But you put, like, how this person feels towards you, they feel like you put distance between them because it was a burden. Like, I'm hearing it was an emotional burden. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. Like, this person still wants to come towards you, though. Why am I here? Look, I gotta say it how I hear it. This person's like, I wanna fuck you. All right, well, it slid like that, so I'm gonna take it like that. So you no longer want to work on this, Virgo, but with this Ace of Swords here, somebody's going, you may receive a call, a text, an email, a DM, et cetera, et cetera. Um, somebody wants to confess something with you or they want to they wanna tell you something here. They may want to tell you that they moved on from something or someone. This person wants to come towards you. It's like this person has something to let go before they come towards you. But yeah, we had the King of Cups on the bottom, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this is telling me that this person loves you very much. This is somebody that's emotionally intelligent, very stable in the, with their emotions. Um, 
but sometimes like water signs can be emotionally manipulative and that's what i'm getting with this third part the third party card and the three of pentacles in reverse We have the seven of cups reverse. Best approach. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Seven of cups reverse is making a choice, choosing yourself, you know, um, not being confused when it's upright. It's a card of confusion, a card of not being able to make a choice. So you're no longer confused and you've made a choice and I'm hearing you chose you. I'm proud of you. And we have the emperor on the bottom. But the deck, we have the King of Cups and the Emperor. So somebody's coming to you with a love offer, possibly a proposal here. I'm getting an energy that somebody may want to offer you stability. Yeah. And there she go. There you go, Virgo. Wow. Holy shit. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This person feels like you're their person. Look, what I say, what I say, what is that? The proposal card. I can't make this shit up. So the best approach to advice their Virgo to the situation, of course, I've said it so many times, is to grow, heal, and transform your life. We have the Knight of Swords here in the outcome. Somebody's coming towards you and they coming in hot and heavy and horny. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, Wands, Fire, Passion, Sex, okay? Six of Cups reverse. Page of Wands, you're going to receive a message of how much somebody misses, like, I'm getting they miss your touch, they miss your lips. Um, even though we have the Six of Cups in reverse here, this is the soulmate, this is the past life card. This person realizes the connection between you two, they realize there's a spiritual connection here. It's a freaking proposal. Let's do another reading, shall we? I got nothing but space and time, so let's get it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the messages out, and I'm going to clarify with the tarot. I haven't done that in a while, so let's get it. We have, I'm moving on right now. Please understand that I need space right now. This person's trying to heal. Maybe somebody hurt them before. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Wow. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. I sabotage this connection and I regret it. I hurt myself by letting you go in the outcome. So we're going to clarify what's going through this person's mind and how they're feeling. Okay, Ver? I got you. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. This person realizes the connection. Please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. I'm so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much more. 
I'm hearing you was this person's baby. You were their boo, boo. <laughs> they never had a love like you before. You may have walked away from this connection, but this is a, let's see, this is about them also. Cause we nosy. So let's see. Tarot is eavesdropping, by the way. Somebody could be getting tarot readings on you, I'm hearing, Virgo. Okay. We have a moving on with my life. The Knight of Pentacles reverse. So this is telling me that this person, they're pretty much more focused on themselves right now. They're focused on their healing. We have the Two of Cups upright on the bottom. So this is a past life soulmate connection. Okay, there is a psychic point between you two. When you hurt, they hurt. When they hurt, you hurt. We have the devil. We have the devil. We have, okay. This person feels like maybe you two are better off separated because they have some ways about them. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn, but this person may feel like they're in bondage to something or to, or they're stuck in something and they don't want to like drag you through it. We have the seven of wands reverse right now. This person, they need their space right now because they're hurting. This person is feeling vulnerable. This person is hurting and they need space. The temperance. Yeah, they're trying to find balance. Okay, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, or Sagittarius. But, and look, we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This person loves you, but they're like, they're trying to heal. I'm hearing you cause this person a spiritual awakening, so... Sometimes, you know, you have, when you spiritually awaken, you feel crazy. You go through like an identity crisis, you know. I feel like this person could be experiencing something similar, okay? We're the Ten of Cups reverse. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Yeah, this person, they love you so much, but they can't express it. They're not good at it. Like, I'm hearing they totally suck at it, bro. Yeah, the Nine of Wands reverse. They are choosing to heal. It's like they're trying to find themselves right now. Or the Two of Pentacles reverse. This person really don't want to let you go. They feel like you two are better off separated. Because they may have chose somebody else. This person's going to message you, though. It's like they want to move on, okay? They want to move on. They want to heal. But it's hard for them to let you go. Like, I'm hearing they can still feel you. We have the sun card reverse. This person is scissored. I sabotage this connection and I regret read it. So, we have Leo energy here. I guess I'm drinking my liquid crack right now. This person, they're focused on work right now, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles here. They're trying to distract themselves with work. Yeah. They're trying, so they're trying hard not to focus on you, okay? person feels like they really hurt themselves by letting you go. We have the Eight of Swords reverse, so this tr person is trying to get out their head when it comes to you, but for some reason, it's not working. And for some reason, with the Devil card here, Virgo, this person is obsessed with you. We have the Eight of Wands upright, and so that's telling me that this person, no matter how hard they try to hold back and control themselves, they're going to end up coming towards you. That's too many, but that was the Two of Cups. That's just beautiful. This person loves you. 
We had a strength card reverse. This person can't hold back anymore. Upright, it talks about being able to hold back in love, right? But reverse, this person, they can't seem to hold back anymore. And with the Ace of Swords here, this person, they, they want to communicate with you. They like, nah, fuck that. I'll clarify with these. Get your oracle card and then I'm gonna close out. It feels good to be back, y'all. It feels good to be recording again. It feels good for me to be to be able to be my most authentic self. And thank you to all the readers that came together to help me out. You're welcome here at my channel anytime. I love reading readers. I'm going to get me a reading soon, but there's so many great readers. I don't know who. I'm thinking I'm getting a reading from either Falcon Tarot or Yasmin Star. I'm not sure if she does readings, but I owe her that. So maybe her. Um, we have photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making memories. This person is watching you. They are looking at your photos. They're trying to move on. They claim they moving on. This person, I'm telling you, this person, they, they suck at expressing their emotions. So, of course, they're going to tell you they're moving on. The snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. This person needs space right now because they may have a karmic in their energy. Okay, and this person's toxic. This person that's in their energy is toxic and deceptive. Okay. Okay, we have X. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, solid treatment, abandonment. This person may feel abandoned by you. You may have been the one that walked away, but this person feels like they've been abandoned by you. Okay, this breakup may have happened quickly. Maybe you got tired of, you know, mind games and stuff like that. Okay, take a chance. Risk of being strategic, options not showing hand, gambling. This person may be a bit of a gambler, but that's not really the issue. This The issue is this person, they're back and forth in their mind. They like, should I or should not? Should I or should not? This person wants to message you, okay? They are not showing their hand. They're being strategic. They're like, how can I? How can I? get back in Virgo's life. This person may feel some shame and this person may not want to face their feelings of how they feel about you. Okay. We have not dealing hurt. Didn't I say that? This person's hurt, Virgo. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. But they're mad at themselves for sabotaging this connection. They sabotage this connection on person. Maybe they were trying to protect you from a particular situation, okay? I feel like this person was trying to protect you more than anything. Maybe this person, they may have kids with this person. Um, we have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. On the bottom, we have soulmates. I cannot make this shit up. It came out twice. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Yeah, they really hurt themselves by letting you go. They can't hold back anymore. Relationship evolving to the next phase. They're going to find a way. Get your oracle card and close this one out and i'll be right back with another one Holla. let's get you a affirming that's 
too many. But I did see a card that say, said, calm the fuck down. Hold your horses. We had this before. I'm going to get another one, though. Break some fucking rules. Sometimes breaking the rules can lead to some badass shit. Every once in a while, I'll be the reason Santa has a naughty list. Right, whichever touched the table. It's okay to take a fucking break. Damn, you've earned it. Recharge and rest that beautiful body. You work so fucking hard, and it's easy to forget to take time to rest yourself. Take some time today to just recharge. You unstoppable badass. Well, Virgo, this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.